Okay, we have with us from Shippensburg and Coach Matt Jones and pitcher Pat Craigle. Coach, if you would uh, give us your thoughts, general thoughts on the game, and then we'll go questions. That was a great baseball game. I think I would have uh, enjoyed it more had I been sitting in the stands in the dugout um, with the end result, but really proud of the way we played. I thought um, we battled their, uh, their ace. We battled them well all day. Uh, we obviously couldn't get the big hit, but uh, this guy kept us in the game and uh, did a magnificent job. Unfortunately, we came out on the wrong side of it. How did you see it with the, the two hits, the one run? Can you talk about your outing today? Is it, is it frustrating all the moments we lost? Well, I was just, you know, we're going to have to get here. It's going to get here. It's unfortunate. I think the team in the game, I can. Um, we had some big situations where we could have scored some runs. against Graham, the game that he was pitching. Does that change your mindset at all? Or are you going to kind of walk into the division? Not really. I was just going out there trying to have that right now. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities, especially in the fifth inning if the base is loaded. What, what do you think went wrong there, you know, not being able to defend those guys? Well, I mean, I, I don't know that anything went wrong. I mean, you, you're facing a guy that, who obviously had a huge season, and he really buckled down. I thought, I thought he pitched great. Uh, you know, when, when he got to that point. Um, we tried a couple things. You know, we looked for the drag a couple times, and uh, we got some good swings, then we had some lots of good swings, but, you know, that's baseball. I think, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's the inning we're going to keep going back to. But, you know, we just we ran into a good guy, and uh, he showed why he's such a good pitcher. He got really tough when he needed to, and, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Was it encouraging to you, though, despite how tough it is, that you guys were out seven hits today and so many runners on base? Man, we've seen so many good pitchers in the last couple weeks. We faced uh, Alex Haynes from Seton Hill twice. Um, we faced Chris Murphy from Millersville. And then we run into this guy. I mean, I feel like we're, uh, I feel like we're in the national league right now. So every week, you know, we're just getting somebody's, somebody's stud. And um, I'm proud of my guys. I thought... You know, we battled really hard. We, we had, I think, seven hits off of them, and uh, we had some chances to, to get the game going. We didn't, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think we know that um, it's going to be tough. To, you know, I, I don't think we're going to keep seeing those kind of guys. At least I hope not. Uh, so hopefully um, we got some confidence from what we did at the place today, and we can take that into one day. You know, last week, Matt, y'all were faced a guy from the same state that went to the ninth inning. And you guys were with him and out of you know being out of the postseason. Yeah. And now this whole past week, you know, like I said, you came back and beat Seton Hill twice, and then you know today you're right there. I mean, it's kind of been a whirlwind week for you guys, hasn't it? Well, I think when you um, think about you know where we were, mm -hmm. uh, you know the, our regular season didn't end the way that we had hoped to, and. Uh, you know, we battled just to get into the tournament. And so our mindset hasn't really been, our mindset going into last week wasn't to win the regional, it was to play another game. Our mindset here isn't, our mindset was, isn't, you know, today it's not to win a national championship. It, my philosophy, our philosophy is, is, is one more. We want to play one more game. And if, if we do a good job with that, then maybe next Saturday we have a chance to do it. Um, so I guess, you know, the pressure of the situation, um, if you look at it the other way, you know, it, it certainly can be a, be a burden on, the, on your psyche. Our, our thing is we just want to try and come out and, and play one more day for our senior. You know, Pat's got another year, hopefully, unless, uh, unless he gets his name called. Um, but he's got another year, a bunch of guys have another year, so, you know, our focus is on those seven guys that have an SR by their name. And I'm confident that when we come out on Monday, um, we'll be more loose and we'll be focused on the task at hand, which is not, it's not next Saturday. The task at hand on Monday is going to be the play on Wednesday. Pat, would you feel any different being on this stage, uh, you know, with the, you know, the game being in you know, the you know, play? <laughs> um, actually, some people on the bus asked some about the next game. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just another game. Yeah. It's another game. Everyone's played the same way. That's the mindset you gotta take into the big stage. Where you're not gonna play loose, you're excited, stuff's bad stuff's gonna happen in situations. You 
pitch so well, but I know you're also a very good hitter. So do you have a preference on uh, which part of the game you like better? I'm just going to keep working as hard as possible. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, you've really been a huge contributor to the team the whole year. I mean, from, you've done as much as any guy could do, I would imagine. Well, I mean, do you agree with that, Matt? Or? Pal will do anything we ask him. I think if I ask him to catch up on the floor, I mean, he's played first base, DH, pitch, third, and left for us this year. Um, I mean, that's why he's a you know, utility All-American for that the other day. Um, he's in the mix for, that, for the ABCA stuff. He's also in the mix for the academic stuff. So um, Pat is, is the kind of kid that you want in your program. He's a smart kid and he's going to do anything he asks you to do. And obviously his composure's there. Um, you know, even his, his base hit later on, when we really needed something to get something going. You know, and for him to be out there and throw, you know, a little over 100 pitches and then still have that focus at the plate off a really good pitcher, I think that shows you what kind of competitor he is. And, uh, you know, the guys, they, they feed off of him. He feeds off of them, too, and he'll tell you that. You know, he's a pretty serious guy. He knows what to joke around. There's some other guys in the dugout that know what to do.